Hello everyone, on this tutorial I will show you how to work with git tags. Up until now we had the like, main branch and we had a few commits like for example version 1, version 2, version 3, all this it's uh, basically the comment which we put into the, our commit. This looks very clean, like one commit, like one version, all clean and nice, but in real world things a little bit different. You have, okay, first commit it will be clean, but next you probably add new file and it's not version 1 anymore, uh, but it's still not version 2, so maybe it's version 1.1, next it will, maybe will be version 2, and later you find some bug, you need to fix it, so it's version 2, Point 0.1 probably, point 0.2, yeah, and another bug, another fix, or so version 2.5 maybe five already, and after it only one clean version of version 3D, so this is a real world, you make many commits, and really hard to look in on these messages, where exactly was your version 2, 3, or 4, and important commits are version 1, 2, and 3, all things between is basically some fixes, uh, some like not clean stuff, let's say, we're trying to fix issues, let me show you the history of real commits, uh, real repository. All the messages, they not saying version, it's basically what you usually put into the message, not the version, but uh, the message what you really did. So here you see this initial commit, edit files, edit another files, updated files, like some another branch, merge it, another branch, fix it some bug, you know, merge it, another task, uh, another branch, upgrade, so new files, this is, this is a message. So where is your version 2 here? and um, maybe after you fix it some bugs so maybe this one so it's a little bit hard to uh, remember yeah it's impossible so this is a place where you can use tags you see every commit has its own some hash code this is a hash code called sha so you can apply tags to each one of these hash codes for example this is you you define when you pushed you know your changes to the main so now it looks okay for you you define this is my version 2 so you can apply tag for for example for this hash version 2 next then you upgrade something so you can apply tag version 2. I don't know 2 for this a uh, hashtag and so on and so on so how to work with it i will show you right now it's really easy okay i'm in my repository here you see let's execute git log with short format git log pretty and we can do it one line so it will do it this way all right this is what i have see first commit second third and, uh, and another commit four commits i have this repository here you see here's my file here's my four commits everything here so where you can see the tags at all so this repository with no tags there's no tags as you see, let's just uh, messages, no any tags, you don't see it here, nothing. The tags on the GitHub, for example, you can see it here, you see, branches and tags. Tag, I see nothing to show, no any tags, nothing. I have another repository as well, which also don't have versions, you see, with tags, but there's, n there's no tags here, no any tags, as you see here, no tags. Uh, here we have four commits, uh, different uh, messages, you see initial version added, basically it's the same, same real world, as people are uh, working and adding stuff, creating commits with some messages. But now we want to continue to work on this repository and make tags and also make maybe tags to the previous versions, like tag some previous code. Again, as you see here, tags, nothing. Okay, let's switch to my terminal and uh, start working. Okay, we in a new folder. Here's my repository. This repository connected to my GitHub repository. Let's see git log. So in this repository we have four commits. We can uh, git log pretty one line, one line to make it nice. So we have four commits. This is the messages. And I want to start using tags. I want to add tag to this commit. You see each commit has hash and I want to add tag version 1 to this uh, hash. So the command is git tag. If I will just execute this, it will show you tags. I don't have any tags, you see. So in order to add tags, we need to specify git tag version, what the tag will be. The tag, best practices use this format, version 1.0.0. This is a tag. And to which hash you want to add it to this one. Enter. Okay. 
Let's execute the git tag right now. Git tag. So I have version 1.0.0, but let's execute git log. And you see here, you see, this hash has tag version 1.0.0. Okay, you know, let's add tag to the current version where I am right now. Git tag version 2.0.0, for example. And I don't need to add hash number because this is the current where I am right now. Just enter git uh, tags it will show me in this repository you have two tags we can execute git log to see where this tag is attached you see the, the one tag is attached to this commit one tag is attached to this commit okay let's continue to work index uh, this is some version here version i don't know just version let's i don't know add something see copy left okay i added this git Commit am added copy left. We can push this git push. Okay, push it. It's, it's right now in remote repository. Let's execute git log. What's what we have right now? Okay, this is what we have right now. Can this tag will be version? You know, maybe yeah, version 2.01. So yeah, let's execute git tag. This is what we have right now. Git tag version. 2.0.1 so it will tag the current commit with this tag done this is all the tags we have git log pretty so this is what we have right now let's see what we have in the github this is my github let's refresh it do we have some tags here no tag because we didn't push the tags the tags need to be pushed to remote repository as well in order to push all the tags which we have here, there's one command, git push origin dash dash tags. Oops, my mistake, git push origin tags. And it sent all the tags to a remote repository. So right now here, let's refresh. So right now we have our branch and we have tags. You see all the tags here. If I will click on the tag, it basically will switch to the commit to where this tag is attached. It, this is a file if i will switch to another tag here it should be with copy left you see nice and if i will switch to the version one what it was this is my initial commit so this is how how you can use tags here all right let's go back here clean it execute get our git log so this is how we add tags you can switch right now to any commit from here by using git checkout and not using hash but using the tags for example version 1.0.0 .0 .0. .0. just want to check check out to there you see i just uh, switched to version 0 and let's cut index where i am yeah you see it's the first version of the file nice you can go back git checkout main okay i'm back okay we can execute git log again let's Continue to work on this file, add something, some more stuff. I don't know, something like this. I just added, yeah, it's okay. Git commit, git commit dash am, added footer, git push. I'm pushing just my commit. Git tag, what we, git tag, what do we have here? This is the tags. Let me see the logs. Okay, you know, this will be version 2.5, for example. Yeah, my uh, current commit. So I execute in git tag version 2.5.0, something like this. Uh, and that's all, yeah. Done. Git pretty lock, you see, I target this commit with this tag. But this tag is not on the GitHub. How to push the specific tag to, git to GitHub and not all? Git push origin. Remember, we used dash dash tags. This is to push all the tags, but we can uh, push a specific tag. Version 2.5.0. And it's just pushing this uh, tag version. I can go here, just refresh it. And we will see here in the tags, you see, here's my latest version just pushed. So basically, you can switch between your commits uh, using tags. Okay, now let's delete some tags. 
So what do we have here? Git tax. You know, let's delete version 2.0.1. We don't need it anymore. Git tag minus D and which you want which tag you want to, uh, to delete version 2.0.1 delete it how to delete it on uh, remote repository git push origin dash dash delete same version 2.0.1 and it will delete it on remote no any more version 2.0.1 here just refresh it here you will you see it disappearing that's all we just clean it up well uh, that's all this is how you're working with the tags basically you just attaching nice name to specific uh, commit uh, hash number and commands which we use today git tag to show list of the tags existing git tag I just add current uh, commit with this tag git tag uh, this commit push my tag to remote repository git checkout just switch to this tag switch to this commit git tag minus d delete local tag git push origin dash dash delete delete remote tag git push origin dash dash tags push all the tags which i have in my local repository to remote repository and to show logs like with a pretty one line way format git log pretty online hope you enjoy it see you in the next lecture bye bye